Good morning, everybody. Mike Bakke from PrincetonTrader.com here for NTMarkets.com with your Thursday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, daily chart of the ES, and I apologize it wasn't on yesterday, but you know I know I don't sound real good today. Yesterday I had no voice at all, so let's try this. Uh, daily chart of the ES. We saw these Bollinger Bands get incredibly tight last week, and it broke above. And typically you will see a move or run a move run much farther than it normally would but in my opinion what you had happen here was it ran too far too fast the bands were so tight that the initial move got way outside of the two standard deviation bands and immediately got involved with the three standard deviation bands which as i mentioned last week is simply not sustainable that kind of imploded under its own weight and we had a big down day Monday uh, bulls came back Tuesday took that middle Bollinger Band back but what we saw yesterday was very unique at least with respect to this rally you saw the bears come back and retake the middle band on the following day okay that's only happened once or twice um, it happened here, but that you know that 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 was uh, non-farm payroll day, so that's not necessarily the best uh, example of bearish follow-through. Yesterday, on the other hand, had no major catalyst whatsoever. So what we have to see today is can the bears keep price underneath the middle band? Can they keep it underneath the middle band? If they can, then the door is open to 1533. The break of 1540 yesterday opened up the 1533 level on on my charts. One of two things happens at 1533. We break it or we hold it. If we hold it at 1533 again is that non-farm payroll low. If we hold the 33, then I think you'll see a lot of I think I think 33 will initially hold. I think it's a good fade level. On the retest we really got high noon because the dip buyers have to decide if they want that as a double bottom to run back up to 93 or the bears decide this is our chance we're going to push this thing down below 33 if 33 converts to the downside and becomes resistance then the door is open to 1510 1510 1510 if 33 holds that will open the door back up to the middle Bollinger Band up around 1559 1560 so 1533 is big 1533 and what happens on 1533 is going to produce a big trade either from the long side or the short side it's our job as traders to observe wait for the setup and then react um, with respect to the pivots we have uh, double pivots today, 9-day and 20-day pivots up at 1557 even you've got the 3-day just underneath so Middle band up at 50, 58, 59. Double pivots underneath 57. Three day at 55 quarter. Daily at 50.75. So there's a lot, of, a lot of wood to chop from the upside. Um, and you're starting to see a shift, at least with respect to the pivots, into a down market, meaning that the daily pivot is underneath the three day pivot, which is underneath the nine day pivot, which is underneath the 20 day pivot. You know, think of it as rungs of a ladder. Now the 45 is still underneath price at 1539 and provided a nice opportunity for support yesterday. Uh, we're a long way away after this kind of a ramp into seeing the 45 day pivot become the highest pivot on the board. Um, but just when you think it can't happen, you know, we're up on 93s. Nobody wants to sell the 93s. Everybody's looking for, for numbers in the 1600s, even though we're on the third standard deviation Bollinger Band. And, you know, next thing you know, we're down on 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 1543. Those Bollinger bands are important. Third standard deviation Bollinger bands are not sustainable. And if you take anything away from this, take that. That this pinch, you got your move higher, ran too fast, not sustainable. Got to give some back. The question now is, the bears may want to keep it when they haven't wanted that before. Okay, everybody have a fantastic day. Mike Baki for PrincetonTrader.com. For ntmarkets.com, I will uh, be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. 
Train them well, everybody.